guys welcome back to our repair guys in today's video guys we're going to show you how to remove and replace the intake variable timing sensor this is the VVT sensor known as the VVT because uh, it's on the uh, it's on the on you can see right here on the camshaft the intake camshaft and this is the one that uh, uh, is responsible for the clutches for the angles of the valves and all that stuff uh, so you have two of them you have exhaust one on this side intake on this one we will demonstrate in this video how to remove and replace the intake VVT sensor so stay with us and we'll start on it now more than 200 videos guys will be coming on the car and we already uploaded probably over 100 on the channel so make sure you subscribe if you need anything just let us know and we'll try to make a video and help you as much as we can so what we will need to do we will need to go ahead and uh, open the hood Okay, and once you open the hood, guys, okay, we have to remove the engine cover right here. So this engine cover has four bushings holding it. So you need to grab with two hands and just start pulling on it, but careful not to break it. You have to firmly hold it. Okay, and you can see that's, that's the cover. Okay, that's where the bushings go. Okay, two and two on this side. You can see they go in this right here so once you remove the engine cover okay we need to get a clip removal too and right here we will need to disconnect okay that clip okay be careful not to break it because it needs to go back in now how you disconnect these hoses let me show you now on this side you can see you have two places that you squish in but you need to push in okay push on those two places and start pulling it out okay like that we'll just move it to the side and we don't even need to disconnect it on the bottom side next disconnect the cable the connector here by pressing in and pulling out you can see this is the thing that we pressed in and we pulled it out okay this is the variable valve timing sensor right here the VVT timing sensor so this one is with 8 millimeter socket guys, so we just get that one here from the screwdriver. I don't know if we'll be able to do it without the ratchet, depending on how tight it is. Okay, it's probably pretty tight. No, perfect. So, we'll go ahead and pull it out now. Okay, this is the bolt right here. Now you have to grab it with your fingers and try to pull straight out without twisting or anything like that. It's very important not to get that thing dirty. If you're removing it for some reason, okay, if it does get here, it might mess it up and not function good anymore. You have to make sure that the hose is clean, everything's good, and uh, we'll get our new one, okay? And all you have to do, just push it in, okay? It locks in place, you can hear the click, install the bolt, the exhaust one is even easier because you don't need to disconnect any hoses or anything like that. So get that bolt tight now. Push the connector in. It goes only one certain way. Next you need to connect the hose, that breather hose. But we're going to push it here in, okay? Perfect, you can hear the click, everything's good. So that's how you do it guys. All you have to do, put the engine cover back on, that's easy. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.